Oh, this morning on Good Morning Britain, former footballer turned actor Vinnie Jones opened up about the tragic loss of his wife Tanya to cancer three months ago. It was a heartbreaking interview. And one thing he said that was really poignant was what happened the night she passed away. And it was this light, it was way off. And I probably looked at it and was looking around for three, four minutes, you know, just to, hey, this looks kind of strange. So anyway, I said, I looked up and I just said, is that you, babe? So I blew a kiss and threw it up. And I swear to appears. It was still there, the light, and it went, and it moved, flew to the left, and it went, and shoom, gone. Gone. And that was my moment. I knew she'd gone. Now, Vinny said that he didn't believe in things like this before it happened to him, but he really believes it was Tanya saying goodbye. And just by looking at that video there, he clearly gets a lot of comfort mm. from that as well. Mm. Is that something that you can, you can relate to? Yeah. When you were saying that, you know, she was gone, she was gone, I mean... <sighs> I, my, I, my father died when I was 28, and he'd actually, after so many years of being in this country, found the moment to go to Kashmir with my mum, just the two of them. The four of us were back um, at home, and within six weeks, we got a phone call out of the blue. Um, Dad's died of a heart attack. So we were... So he hadn't been poorly? He hadn't been poorly, just, you know, just just like that, just a quick heart attack. So the four of us were here, and in our religion, in the Muslim religion, you have to bury your dead within 24 mm. hours. Um, so we were flown over, and I remember we were, like, you know, going up the Himalayas and, you know, the whole village is out, and my dad was there. He was in his shroud, and I sort of looked at, looked at him, and the body was there, but he was not there. Mm. He, there my dad had gone. It was totally... I could see it was really at peace, so it was quite calming for me. But the thing that I remember is that I leant down to kiss him. I have never felt such a cold body in my life. And I just remember thinking, oh, my dad's going to be really cold. And he always used to say, oh, I get really cold. And I just thought he's going to be really cold. And then I realised, actually, dad's already gone. Mm -hmm. And when he says she's gone, she's gone, I remember thinking, my dad has gone. Yeah. But the little things, the funny little things that you cling on to. So my dad really used to like robins. Mm -hmm. And whenever I see a robin at Christmas, especially because my dad died at Christmas time, I go, oh, hello, dad. All right, dad, you're all right. And I just, I think you cling on to those yeah. sort of like yeah. little Comfort, bits, don't you? It's like a psychological trigger, isn't it? Yeah. To just make you remember somebody. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, I totally agree with what you're saying. I mean, I think anyone who's seen or been with somebody when they've died, as, as I have, there is an energy, there is, mm. a, uh, there is a soul, and it's, it's, you know, it's what you think, what you feel, what you say, who you love, mm. all of those things that make you the person that you are. And the body is actually just the vessel yeah. for all of that. Mm. So when that soul, if you like, goes, okay. you're just left with, yeah, That's exactly something, and they don't even look like them anymore, yeah. really. So yeah. I get completely what, what Vinny is saying there. And I, I also just want to say I think it's so amazing because he's known as the hard man of football. And to see somebody who loved his wife that much so and long. be so grief-stricken and to talk so openly mm. about it, I think is really, really important. It's wonderful. Mm. Yeah. Really wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. It is. And yeah. I, I, I think as well, he... I do believe in what, what he saw, and I do believe that there is an energy, and I think that some people are fortunate enough to see that in a form of light or, or whatever mm. it is, and I, I really... I, I believe that that was her, and I, I think that that's given him so much comfort to know that he, they've had that little moment and that she's gone and she'll be waiting for him. I think that, you know, I, I, I would love to f uh, feel that. I mean, I always come over like an old cynic because I'm because I'm an atheist, so I don't believe in an afterlife, but I would love more than anything for somebody to prove to me. So when my mum died, it was, it was a wonderful way for her to go. She was surrounded by all of her family and it was very gentle and, you know, it was, it, mm. it was wonderful. But I didn't see any lights come off, yeah, come yeah. off her. And, you know, and, and I think it is important for people to get comfort, but I just get a bit cynical about, like, recently a friend of mine went to a medium and the person that came through to talk to me through her was Dale Winton. <laughs> now, <laughs> I was delighted to hear from Dale. <laughs> um, but, 
he wasn't as close to me as, say, my mum coming through would Maybe have been. Not. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? So I just always... And Dale had said, you know, Denise looks much better since she'd given up drinking, which was lovely, and thank you, Dale. <laughs> but I still he's need still a little watching, bit you know. more he's proof. Still he's, still he's still looking. He's still looking. Well, we but got did the you, same when birthday. you saw your mum, did you see... No, I didn't No, no, see... no, but not did you see a light. Did you recognise that her soul or her, her the essence of her being had gone? Not in a in a in a supernatural no. sort of out of no, out no, of just, just worldly like... thing. I mean, if a feather comes down, I'm like you. I, I don't think that's my mum sending a message, no. but it does remind me a... to think yeah. of to, okay. think, to think of think yeah. of my mum. And yeah. you know, I do envy people who 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 have faith. Yeah, but also I think it's anything that gives you comfort. And of course, as, as anybody, say, anything that gives you comfort. Obviously, absolutely. Vinny was only speaking just this morning about it. And Vinny, we send you so much mm. love, and we hope your heart heals soon. We really do.